And there are two special things about the mountain here, uh, the history of the mountain and the nature of the mountain as well. For the history, 5,000 years ago, uh, the, uh, there was a civilization who lived here, and it's called Dilman civilization. Dil? Dilman. 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 Yes. They are from? Uh, Eastern Arabia. Oh. They lived in Eastern Native. Arabia. Hmm? The native one. Yes. And the main reason part of them lived here is because of the temperature inside the cave. Mm. The temperature inside is between 24 to 28. Not Samaria. Sumerian and... Sumer Dilman are part of Sumerian civilization, yes. Uh, yes. That's, that's correct. Yeah. The Sumerians, they lived in Eastern Arabia. And part of them, they were Dilman. They lived here in this area. Uh, Samarian, it's from uh, Syria, right? Uh, they were living from Oman to Iraq, so all of this. And the main reason is the temperature is always cold inside the cave, it's between 24 to 28. And uh, the, the main reason behind this is the rocks of the mountain, the rocks here are limestone, so they will keep the water whenever it's raining, and in the summer they will start to leave or evaporate the water to moderate the temperature. And uh, this was 5,000 years ago uh, when the Dilmun civilization lived here. And 80, uh, 800 years ago, the Ottoman Empire, they were occupying the place here. And they also used the caves of the mountain. Ottoman and Turkey. Yes. They, uh, lived, uh, they, they used the caves of the mountain as a store. So they also stored gold and jewelry and food as well because the temperature inside is always good. And 80 years ago, the first prince of this city, his name was Saud bin Zui. He used one of the caves inside the mountain as a royal meeting room. So back at his time, 80 years ago, we didn't have air conditioning and we had really poor electricity in this area. So that was the perfect spot as a royal meeting room. Uh, so it's a circular cave, you can hear the Saud. echo. Yes, it's open from the top so you can get the sunlight and it's cool in the summer. So back then it was the perfect place. And people who migrated to this place, they didn't only migrate here because of the mountain, but also because of the green spaces in the area. I believe in your way here, you saw the palm trees, right? Do you know how many palm trees you have here? In no. the city? No? We have three million palm trees. Uh, in three, months, three months ago, uh, World Guinness Records announced that al Ahsa is the largest palm tree oasis in the world. This is the palm tree. Uh, yeah, this is the palm trees. Date trees. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so that's why the main product of the city here is dates. And also we try to make whatever we can handicrafts from the palm trees. Like we use the leaves of the palm trees to make handicrafts like these ones. Just like how you use the coconut tree in the Philippines, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, also people here are really into handicrafts in general. So they make pottery like this ones. From that mountain? Yes, from the mountain here. There's actually a factory just on the other side of the mountain where you can visit it as well. You know what? The GPS sent us there in the other part. Ah. Oh, only the... Oh, this is not the one. That's right. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. If you write Algara, yes. because the whole area is called Algara. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and so it just brings you in different places. Yes. <laughs> And also people here are really into arts. Uh, as you notice here, the Arabic calligraphy arts. Arabic calligraphy is one of the oldest Arabic and Islamic arts. And the also who made these paintings, he's a local artist, and he tried to represent different sayings and different codes through Arabic calligraphy. So please, whatever you like from them, choose it and I'll explain it to you. <laughs> Well, these three paintings are the only three paintings connected here. Okay, so each one of them has its own story, but this one, they got a connected story. It's about Mary or Maria, together, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, would you like to hear it all or only the blue one? Yes. Yeah. Four. Okay. So it starts from the purple one. It's a verse from the Quran. And it says, uh, I've mentioned when the angel said, O Mary, God has chosen you and made you pure. And it chose you above all the women of the world. That's correct. 
So if you trace my hand here, this is the word Maryam in Arabic, which is equivalent to Mary in English or Maria in Tagalog. And the artist chose to write the name of Mary on this side and the whole verse, the white writings, on the other side to express how God chose them. And he also used the purple color in the background to express how feminine Mary was. And the green one here is completing the story, and it says, I've mentioned, when the angel said, O oh Mary, God is giving you the good news of a word from him. His name will be the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary. He will be important in this world and among those who brought news to God in the hereafter. So here, since the conversation is between Mary and the angels, and it's about Jesus, so it's a heavenly conversation. Messiah, huh? Messiah, yes. A Messiah. So that's why the, the lights are coming from the top, and the artist used the light green and the light blue to express the heavenly atmosphere, because it's a conversation between Mary, the angels, and it's about Jesus. And the blue one here is the response of Mary when she received the news. It starts from here, and it says, My Lord, how would I have a child when no man has no, touched me? No me. So as you can see here, the words are starting big and going slowly small to express how shy Mary was talking to God. The artist used the dark blue and the black color in the background to express how sad she was, afraid of the reaction of people. And then the answer came from the heaven, such is your God, He creates what He will. God can create whatever He wants. So it's part of the story of uh, Maryam or Mary. There is uh, actually a whole chapter in the Quran which is called Maryam, which is about the story of Mary. And it's the only chapter with the female name of the title. Any other questions? Any other paintings? Go ahead, choose more. This one, this one. The one of the hearts? Yeah. It's, uh, this one is a saying from Prophet Muhammad. And he said, none of you is a truly believer, no one is a true believer, unless he wishes for the others what he wished for himself. He wants the good for the others as if he wanted for himself. So to represent that, the artist drew two hearts. The heart on the right has the word what he loves for the others, and the left side what he loves for himself. And as you can see, both of the hearts will never be complete until they overlap and complete each other. Do you have lunch here? Yeah? Do we have lunch here? Like restaurants? Yes. Uh, there are two restaurants here outside. Uh, but if, wh where are you going next after the mountain? No. No? Yeah, probably. We don't know how. Oh. I can recommend some restaurants if, if you want to. Ah, in the city? Uh, nearby and in the city, yes. No, only here. Here? There are two restaurants outside. What is it? Arabic restaurant? Yeah, yeah. Well, mainly sandwiches. Uh, the, uh, sandwiches. Right. Sandwiches and kushari. You know kushari? Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Egyptian. Ah, no. Egyptian yeah, food. Uh, no, hapsa? Uh, huh? Hapsa. No, no, no. no. no uh, kushari rice. is rice. Oh. Kushari is rice. Rice, uh, spaghetti, oh, okay. and uh, peas. Okay. Right? Prawn peas. It's. Uh, that's something similar to pancit, but not really. Mm. Pancit is more delicious. <laughs> <laughs> more delicious in our time. Okay. Ah, I like the pancit too. Voila. Voila, I like it. <laughs> so, uh, pancit and chicken adobo. Mm. Best. <laughs> From which city in the Philippines? New Manila. New Manila? Yeah, I think you're in Manila. No, I'm uh, different in the north. And then I'll say, I'm Would you like to have a group photo? Join together. I'll take a group photo for you. Okay, okay. Good? No, you can take off your mask. No, we live together. You live together? Yeah. Where do you work? Uh, we work in the refinery. So. Refinery. Okay. Today is off. You know, holidays. Holidays, yeah, no? Yeah, yeah. Right. Three, two, one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let me take this for you as well. Yeah. He's the photographer of the trip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. 